Eugen too. Eugen, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Uh, and Robin is also joining me on Skype without face cam though, but it's fine. Um, hey guys. Yeah, all of us have we already had our nationals, with, all of us um, topped, so we're gonna we do a little uh, national to discussion today. Uh, and Robin is also joining me on Skype without face cam. I have my, um, hey guys. my own stream on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, let me let me just uh, share the stream real quick on like Zodiac and stuff, so we get some viewers and then we can get going. Where's the post I need? Du, du, du. So yeah we have some uh, I have some deck lists prepared from nationals that we can we can discuss. We can discuss our own national experiences and stuff. Um, we all play different decks so we can discuss that too. Hold on. Okay, so um, first of all, let, let's just go by by chronological order. So the first national was Swiss nationals, right? For from us. Uh, well, it wasn't at the same weekend as the German one. Oh right, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, but you finished earlier. Yeah, because you, you had like played one day, right? Because you had like two players or something. <laughs> <laughs> two player top eight. Either way. Um, <laughs> So yeah, how many how many players were for there? Uh, unfortunately, just 180. 180. Uh, we had like the last four years around 300. Okay, so um, uh, how many rounds is it? Uh, eight. It was eight rounds mm -hmm. and top 16. Okay, and you played the Burning Abyss. I have the list right here on the screen for everyone. Um, you played Burning Abyss with the with the Kettle Call. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And uh, you use it to make uh, the the raid raptor, the apocalypse fort, raid raptor towers, anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, it's it's like kind of a meta call, right? Because against kaiju's and against um, monarchs, it's not that great, is it? Exactly. And um, um, so you expected more of burning abyss and uh, uh, pendulum mainly, and cosmo. Um, well, against pendulum, it's. Uh, also not that great because if the panel player is good he can just out it with number 38 yeah so but yeah my meta call was basically um, Cosmo without planet mm -hmm. um, BA and demise decks because demise decks have also a pretty hard time to get over it or it just gives you basically the, the win against demise decks and um, was it as you expected mostly um, I played like I think six or seven cosmos, but all of them exact one was uh, were planet cosmos. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the meta call wasn't that great in the end. Okay. Um, How yeah, did but, you finish Swiss? Uh, it was six one one. Six one one. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's all right. And then, then in top eight, you lost to what? Uh, to the. Um, to the winner in the end, uh, Monarch. XYC Monarchs, okay. which is a pretty bad matchup yeah, for Yeah, I've seen a Abyss. few people commenting on the picture that it's pretty bad against Monarchs. Well, yeah. Okay, Did so you... um, the Raid Raptor thing, you summon it and it's unaffected by the spell card? Well, uh, when oh, it gets oh, summoned, oh, its effects are negated. So you have okay. to have you, you banish to it with Farfar and return it. Exactly. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but like, it's uh, I don't know if it's like that good of a meta call in a format with that much monarchs. Would you would you play it again, or was it? Uh, no, like... for sure not. Yeah, I it mean, was it's just loose made... against monarchs because of the Stormforth. Uh, uh, no, 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 the no, 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 uh, domain because domain. they get uh, eight hundred uh, tech. Push. How much is it? Eight hundred. Yeah, so oh, three six. So I, I thought it was four thousand. No, then it would be okay. good against Monarchs. Yeah, no, I, no, I thought for some reason I thought it would be uh, outed by by Stormforth, but no, no, it's not. Okay, so so apparently Eugen's um, webcam is not working. I, I don't know what to do about it, but yeah. Yeah, um, is 
Okay. Maybe it's yeah. better for you guys not to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Great news, guys. Eugen's face cam stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> now it's working. Um, yeah, okay. So, so for everyone, um, I, we're not going to discuss every list that top nationals. We have all of them on our Complexity Card Gaming uh, website, at least from our members. So you can check those out. Uh, Facebook's page, too. Um, so yeah, here's Robin's list, um, pure burning abyss with the cattle calls. Next up, Eugen also topped, top 64 <coughs> German Nationals. German Nationals had, what was it, 950 players? Yeah, something like that. And um, you went 7 wins, 2 losses, 1 draw, right? Yeah. 7-1 mm -hmm. in, no, 6-1 in day 1. Mm -hmm. I think we played 7 rounds. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I lost against the mirror match. Um, domain Monarch, well, not exactly mirror match, just Domain Monarch, then uh, Pendulum, and draw against Exceed Monarch. And then lost in top 64 against Burning Abyss because I made a mistake. Um, game 1, he started pretty good. I had the uh, 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 average hand. He started with a uh, bad trees and breakthrough set. Um, yeah, I can play played against that with an average hand. And Game two, I started with Kurat's return, uh, Stormford set, and Ifa in hand, and Ghost Reaper in hand. He special some Burning Abyss, special some Burning Abyss. I discard Ghost Reaper. He banishes Dante's. Then he goes for Acid Golem. Um, I think okay. What can you do? Come at me, bro. And he tributes for fucking yeah, GG. <laughs> to distribute the Acid Golem on the sun. <laughs> Too good, fucking. Never had that situation strong. before, so <laughs> didn't thought about that. Yeah, people are already saying in chat that it is exactly as I predicted. Um, you can top, you can easily top with monarchs, but it's not the deck for winning. But okay, okay, I told you. Well, I don't know. I would have won the top sexy, uh, top sixty four, <laughs> top sixty <laughs> maybe. You would have maybe um, won the second game. No, I would would have won the second game for sure. And then you would have bricked game three. No. Yes. No. Um. But like, do you have to tribute the asset golem on summon? Is it really correct? Yeah, because if he summons the fucking, it's too late already. Yeah, but like, do you assume he has fucking if you banish his Dante? I mean, uh, what else does he? What else does he make? Yeah, that's the only thing I lose to. Exactly. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, if you if you do it when he when he enters battle phase, anyways, you should do it r right away, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Um. All right, then. Uh, I played Fire King Cosmo, which surprised a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people messaged me as like, uh, "Yo, where where was Pendulum at?" Um. I did make Pendulum great again, but then people made Maxi great again, and that made Pendulum not so great again. Um, yeah, I mean, Cosmo was like, it felt strong enough to, to win, uh, and uh, I tested it on stream a few weeks ago, and I was like, okay, this deck sucks, but it was mainly because uh, I didn't know how to play it, and uh, the build was also pretty bad. And um, when I played it again, I noticed it's actually quite good if you know how to play it, and... Um, it was kind of like learning by doing at nationals because uh, first round I actually realized that uh, I, I messed up the turn one combo in for in the first round and then I had to uh, then between rounds I was always reading all the combos and then the, after I knew how the stuff worked it was pretty good for me this is the build I played I would do some changes I'll talk about that later either way I went um, nine one in Swiss uh, top sixty four I beat. Burning Abyss, top 32 and 16, I beat Monarchs in the top 8, I lost to Burning Abyss, um, which is fine, it happens. He, he, like, I max seed him game 3 and then he, had, he suddenly had 4 back row out of nowhere, which is like, yeah. And he, and he only played like 3 or 4 or 5 traps or something, so it's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Fucking yeah, best deck. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I don't like BA at all, I don't know. 
I'm also not, uh, no longer that sure about it because the Monarch matchup uh, domain or XYC is, is way too difficult. Yeah, it's like weird. Also, also Cosmo is not easy to win against Cosmo. I think Cosmo is actually the easiest matchup that you can get. I don't know. It's like it still struggles to out Dark Destroyer. Well, it's basic. Uh, I don't think that Dark Destroyer's problem. Uh, it's uh, mostly the back row. To play around Motros is quite difficult. Yeah, but like, you, you cannot really win problem. if there's a Dark Destroyer on board unless you have like insane hands with F Zero. It's not always F Zero that is needed. Uh, you also have this Barbar Nightmare Shark moves to just get in some damage. <laughs> yeah, all right, but it's... yeah, but Cosmo is pretty effective at killing you in one or two turns. Well. In Burning Abyss, like everything is floating, be it trees, crafts, or the whole time, it's quite also quite difficult for a Cosmo to OTK you. Yeah, it is. Um, in my opinion, it can be. Um, either way, yeah, I, I did play uh, Oasis over Call. Like I played one Call because that's the one I sided out, but the Oasis I kept in was like pretty good against System Down. Um, let me see if we have some chat questions and then we will get on to uh, some winner deck lists because of course uh, we did not win so we have other deck lists that won. Um, for German nationals I actually don't have it open, let me, let me just see if I can find it when I google it. It was Timo Hempel. Oh, I just back there. Um, There's no picture. Either way, what, are you, what did you think of his deck while I'm looking for the deck list? Did you see it? Yeah, you, you saw it, right? So it was the match with Spectre one with traps, spell. right? He did play a lot of traps, yeah. Or, uh, I don't know if it was a lot, but he did play the, the, the traps. For sure. <laughs> Well, I think it's actually, um, and uh, I didn't saw any deck feature of him uh, where he explains uh, why he chose deck, but I think the meta call was basically against Burning Abyss and Cosmo, in my opinion, with his deck. I'm not too sure, uh, basically Kirin does almost nothing against Monarchs, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, it's okay against Monarchs, actually. The thing is, like, Stormforth is pretty good against it, but um, with Stormforth you still only have one Tribute Father. Like, if you want to summon Erebus or Aether, you have to have Return, or you have to put something on the board and then you can kill him. Okay, that's true. It's not terrible, like, you can still bounce Prime or something, and then it's awkward. But if they have Stormforth Domain, it's terrible, of course. Mm, yeah, he played five traps. He played double Tempest, double Tornado, with uh, triple Fox and triple Ogam. I have it here. Uh, deck profile by card journalist. So um, he did play nine Magic Specters. He didn't even. You know, he he played nine little Magic Specters, triple Kirin. And then he also quite played, a big engine. Yeah, and he, he, he only played very small um, Performer Pile package. He only played um, Sorcerer, Monkey Board, Joker, only one Sorcerer, and um, one Phoenix and two Unicorn. Which is pretty weird, but okay. He won, so it, it worked out for him. And he, did, he also played um, Master Pendulums without any face off. Like, okay. he could have just added. An overlord and the face of what he didn't. So that's interesting. Also, side decking Drowning Mirror Force, I like that. It's a card that I've. Like, when I was playing Cosmo in testing, it was like huge against me sometimes. Um, like, I, I know Lorenzo was practicing with Phantom Knight Burning Abyss for Italian Nationals and he played it in the side and like it fucked me over sometimes. I don't know if he ended up playing it. He he also got top eight, by the way. I don't have his list right now, though. 
I think actually Kord is also pretty good uh, to play the mind games, especially if you're playing it in Monarchs or something like that. Yeah, it's, just it's pretty Just pretend scary. that you bricked. Yeah, or if you set like a card, people and... just assume it's either a brick or Stormforth, like Br Prime or Stormforth. It's kind of scary, but yeah. Uh, I personally, I'm not a fan of Magic Specters though, at least not the small ones. I don't like it, but it worked for him. But it was only German, only German nationals. I mean. Yeah. I mean, uh, for example, you, you played day one, like, no cost, no monarchs, and no BA, right? Yeah, exactly. My matchups on day one were, uh, I played against two Yosenjus, um, I played against two Magi Spectres, but, like, not good Magi Spectres, not like this, not like a reasonable build. It was like the first two rounds were both just random Magi Spectre stuff, I don't know what happened there. Um, <laughs> So yeah, two, two Yosenju, two Magic Spectre, two normal Pendulums, I think. Like the, you know, with the, the deck that I made. Um, something like that. Yeah, I think one guy was actually playing something that was pretty much the deck that I made. Like the one with the dies and the rising. And then in the last round I played against one who was playing normal, like Sky Iris Pendulum. And then in round 5 I played against someone who's playing uh, Atlantean Kaiju with Magical Mallets. Something like that, so yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's, that's, and he, he also played Mother Grizzly. <laughs> so that's, that's German Nationals. And he was XO, I went XO day one, so like all these people were XO at some point. Um, yeah, that's, that's German Nationals for you. Uh, but day two, then I, I played against some meta. Like the, the last three Swiss rounds were all Monarchs. And then in tops, I also had two Monarchs and two Burning Abyss, so yeah. But but still, like Nationals is always kind of weird. Um, so you did you didn't play any mirror match the whole no, weekend? No, no mirror match at all. Which I, I like that, but because uh, like I, I feel like the the mirror match is mm, not that great for mm -hmm. Cosmo at least. Um, there are not many Cosmo players, right? I think I also only played against one Cosmo. Yeah, I, I also really know like I really noticed that that deck is the, the the Cosmo Fire King is really hard to play. Like I noticed that during playing, um, so I, I feel like that's one of the reasons why the the deck didn't really uh, win that much. Like it's, it's not very successful because the combos are really hard to to pull off. Not only the first turn combos, like you can learn the first turn combos, and then it's fine. But like. Especially in the middle of the game when you have to OTK through like uh, Monarch fields with Aether Stormforth and you have to OTK through Beatrice or something like that. It was really hard. Like I had to do some some really fucked up turns. Uh, I will absolutely agree on that. Um, I think I had like one open at Swiss Nationals uh, from my six or seven uh, Cosmo matchups. Uh, uh, he was pretty good like um, game two I think. He, uh, he won against three maxis and OTK me through a double bit trees field. Mm -hmm. Was really weird, mm -hmm. and all the other ones like just summoning first in a plant in attack mode. So it's already a good start for EA because four thousand is never bad with F zero and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's. Yeah. Uh, I think it was even the most played deck at Swiss Nationals Cosmo. Yeah, it was also the most played deck at German Nationals. I'm pretty sure. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. I don't know if it was like Fire King Cosmo, but like Cosmo in general was like hugely played. Um, but uh, I think I was the only one in top sixteen, even, which is okay. like, interesting. No, Sasha was was Sasha top sixteen or thirty two? I think. Uh, I, have I think sixteen. I have it here. I'm not sure. No, thirty two. Thirty two. Was it thirty two? Okay. Yeah, he he played almost the same list. Uh, he played uh, Maxis, 